So this is the plan. So we're gonna do a velvet quilted jacket. It's kind of more of an applique kind of quilted thing. And it's inspired by the song, Here Comes the Sun by the Beatles. Why? Because it was stuck in my head one day. <laughs> and it's a classic, so. So I've been procrastinating pretty hard on this project. I had the idea for this project in January, maybe last year. It's now November, so it's been almost a year and I'm just getting started now. So, is it supposed to be like a spring jacket with here comes the sun, the snow is melting, sun's coming out, springtime. But now it's a fall jacket. I mean, the sun finally came out today, sort of. It's been about a week of darkness, so that's been fun. So the first step is to cut out the main pattern parts for our jacket. So the pattern I'm working off of is one from Megan. Is one from Megan Megan Nelson. Nelson? Megan Nelson. <laughs> I have used it before. I made a quilted jacket. I did all the quilting myself. It took me forever. <laughs> I don't want to do that again. And yet here we are. Anyways, I'll link it below if you want to make it as well. All right, so we got our main pieces cut out and now we gotta figure out the applique quilty part thing. Now this is the part I'm nervous about because I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna kind of wing it. <laughs> okay, so if we look at our poorly drawn diagram, uh, you will see there's these applique things on the edges of the jacket, on the sleeves and the jacket part, and on the back, like sun rays on the back. So the bottom part is gonna be yellow and then the scallopy part is like a dusty pink. The rays on the back and the collar part will be navy blue. So, gotta start cutting. So I'm gonna start with the sleeve, because it's the least amount of fabric. Figure it out from there. At least that's the plan. Alright, we got all our pieces cut out and this is basically how it's gonna look. I'm gonna start with the pink part because it's going underneath the yellow. I'm gonna take an air erasable marker and just draw the lines for the quilting part. I'm gonna do it first because I feel like it's gonna be easier than trying to sew it while it's on the jacket. Okay, so now I'm just gonna base stitch the edge part uh, for when I sew it. It won't be a disaster. I don't know if this is exactly how you're supposed to do it, but this is how I'm doing it. Anyways, I have finished basting the scallop thing, thought we were calling it. Little pink sunshine rays. Little pink suns. Do you remember that song, Pink Moon? Can't remember who sings it. It's gonna bother me now. Anyway, now it is time, where's my sleeve, to attach the pink suns to the green sleeve, which is also a song. So I realized after the fact that I did it two different ways. The initial plan was having the scallop things sort of go into, like there shouldn't be this space here. But I spent way too much time doing one sleeve. I sewed it and re-sewed it like four or five times because it was like crooked and just not working and I just don't want to do it again. So it's going to stay that way. <laughs> trying to embrace the imperfections, at least that's what I tell myself. So now we gotta do the front part and the back part of the jacket. Same thing basically as the sleeve, but the back part has the sun rays. So I realized as I was laying out my pink scallopy things for the front and the back that they would not line up when they were sewed together. So I thought maybe I'd cut them out individually and then I can just place them individually on 
So I'm gonna start with the front two panels. So for this project, I didn't want it to be like super obvious that it was Here Comes the Sun. Kind of wanted to use sort of like more vintage-y kind of color, vintage-y kind of colors. I don't know if they're vintage-y kind of colors. The song came out in 69, so like late 60s, early 70s. I don't know, I wasn't there, but to me, these kind of are fit that vibe. My project and I'll do what I want, all right? <laughs> but for like choosing the colors, like having the yellow on the edges, it's kind of like, you know, the sun is coming, here comes the sun. The sun's not here yet. It's coming and like the sun rays coming up and like choosing the darker blues and the green as sort of like the moodier colors the wintry colors and then the pink and the yellow as like the springy colors it's like that contrast anyway those are my thoughts on that we shall continue on so for the sun rays on the back i just made a template and i i cut them out i only did four because i thought four looked better personally so to be honest, I was kind of procrastinating quite a bit on the back, on doing the sun rays, because I wasn't quite sure how to do it, and I also wasn't feeling that great. I mean, that's kind of the theme of this video, of this entire project, is just procrastinate on the whole thing, and 10 years later, we might get it done. <laughs> it's only been like a year. I know for me, like, if I'm not 100% sure how to do something in my head, I won't do it. So what I figured is for the back, with some trial and error, and a bit of help from the internet, so this fabric is like hard to work with, which I mean, I kind of knew going into it because velvet's a pain in the ass, but it looks good and I love it. I love this fabric so much. <laughs> it's so pretty. So what I did was I pre-hemmed the sun rays, the edges, and then I was just gonna sew over top of it. And then it was bunching up a lot in the machine because it was just like, Arr. So what I got was some peel and stick fabric fuse. It's just like a fabric adhesive. So I did the first one with that technique after unpicking it a few times and redoing it a few times. And then I used the peel and stick thing and it worked pretty well. So this is what we're doing. This is how we're doing it. Don't yell at me. So I tried quilting the sun rays on the back of the jacket and it didn't really go so well. So we're just gonna scratch that idea and leave it as is. <laughs> it's less work for me. So that's a bonus because this jacket has been a lot of work. <laughs> and I was not expecting it to be that much work. So I run into a bit of a problem. Shocking, I know. So how I put on the rays on the back, they don't quite line up. Like they won't be covered by the scallops, but half circles, they're half circles. I don't know why I keep calling them scallops. So I thought what I'd do is I would cut out like a big one, like an, a bigger half circle, put that in the middle and then they do like two on e either side, two of the small ones on either side. So let's go do that. All right, now it's time to put the whole thing together. We're gonna start by putting the front piece and the back piece together and then go from there. So I can't believe I did this. The front part is longer than the back part, and if I sew it together, it's not gonna make any sense. And that's my fault, because the pattern, I cut the pattern out with the hems differently. So what I was gonna do was gonna cut the bottom part and raise it up, and then put a pocket over it, so no one will know, except for you and me. We'll know, but we won't tell anyone. <laughs> you know, I thought it was gonna be easy at this point, this was the easy part, just put the whole thing together, bing, bang, boom, but no. No. It'll be okay. Now, I don't know if this is the best way to do this, but this is how I'm doing it, because this is all I can think of right now. Now, to be fair, the drawing I did did have pockets on it, so maybe it's the universe's way of saying, hey, put those pockets on. You'll appreciate them when you want to put stuff in your jacket and you don't want to carry a purse. Because in the winter slash fall, my jacket is my purse, so. I don't know if the pockets are too high. I don't really want to... All right, so we basically have a poncho at this point. I did lower the pockets because they looked kind of silly. So they get a little better lower. So now I have to do the sleeves, go up the sides, and then we do the collar, and then hem it. And then I think we're done, unless something else disastrous decides to happen again. Because this is how it's been going, so. Oh yeah. <laughs> 
Just kidding, we're gonna put it together and then hem it and then do the collar. So for the collar, I sewed the two pieces together and then folded it in half lengthwise and then quilted it first. Cause after a meltdown, I found this to be the easiest way to go about it. And then I added it to the jacket and then I ironed the entire thing the best I could because this fabric does not like to be ironed. We did it. And I only cried twice. So this is the final jacket. From far away, it looks all right. If you look up close, it's a bit of a mess. Favorite part is the fact that I spent so much time trying to make sure the sides were even and they didn't end up being even at all. So honestly, I think this turned out a lot better than I thought it would. I had very low expectations. It basically turned out how I saw it in my head. So that's always nice. My favorite part is like the quilting on the velvet. I love the texture of it. That's like half the reason why I wanted to do this jacket <laughs> was creating that texture in the velvet. So yeah, I think it fits pretty well. Um, it's nice and oversized, it's super comfortable. I think it fits the song pretty well, like how I was saying earlier that like the yellow and the pink are like the spring colors and it's like the sun's coming up, the sun's coming, and like the green and the blue are the winter, fall colors, like that contrast, and I think that worked out really well, actually. After, you know, almost quitting a couple times and being completely stressed out and not enjoying the process at all. See, I like the designing process and coming up with the idea process and the cutting out and the starting process and then halfway through it's like, I hate this so much. And then by the end of it, you're like, holy crap, I finished it. It was a bit of a mess getting to this point, but it's okay because sometimes that's how things go. We got through it, we pushed through it, we did it. So thanks so much for watching and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and if you didn't, I'm sorry. I'll do better next time. Probably won't though. And be sure to subscribe. Yeah, be my friend if you want. It'd be cool. I wouldn't mind. Just saying. If you want to see more sewing videos like this, hopefully they go a little better. And I'll see you in the next one.